So, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at GhostBSD. GhostBSD is based on FreeBSD and it aims to make BSD as easy to use as possible. So in that way I think it's a little bit like the Ubuntu of the FreeBSD world. So, with that said, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at it right now on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, as I said during the opening today, we're going to be taking a look at Ghost BSD. Now, I absolutely love Ghost BSD, and I've actually used it as a daily driver on several occasions, on several different pieces of hardware. And I've got to say, it's really really good and I actually have talked about it on the channel too but I haven't really had a proper look around it so that's what I wanted to do in today's video. Now the first thing that I want to say is for some reason GhostBSD doesn't really work very well inside of virtual machines. I don't know why that is because it works really well on real hardware but in a virtual machine doesn't quite work so well. So for instance you can see here I'm using GNOME boxes and the networking isn't working and for some reason the display is not at native resolution. I don't know why that is, but everything still should be working well enough for us to take a look at GhostBSD. For some reason in VirtualBox it doesn't start at all either, which is very confusing. But like I say, we've got it here so we can take a look at it. Now this is the Mate version of GhostBSD. They do actually offer a XFCE Community Edition too, which I do personally prefer, but I consider Mate to be their flagship offering, so that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. And I've got to say, it really is a nice implementation of Mate. It's obviously not quite on the level of Ubuntu Mate, but it's nice. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but the default theming is really nice. I believe it uses the Vimix theme. The default icons are nice. The panel layout is sane and works really well, and the default wallpaper is a very good choice, so you get a great first impression of GhostBSD. So with that said, let's go ahead and click on this GhostBSD branded application launcher, which I must say looks great, and take a look at what applications we get. So under accessories, you get all the standard Mate accessories, no complaint, they're good accessories. As you can see here, there's no bloat or anything like that. If we keep going under graphics, you get Eye of Mate and Shotwell, confusingly enough. I suppose you can pick whichever one you prefer. Under internet, you get Firefox and Transmission. It is worth pointing out that this is the full newest version of Firefox, not the ESR release. Under office, you get the Atrial Document Viewer, Evolution and Mate Dictionary, all the things that you would expect to be here. There's no LibreOffice pre-installed by default. Maybe I would have liked to have seen that, but you can get it installed easily enough. Under Programming, you get Glade, which is apparently for designing user interfaces for GTK applications, fair enough. Under Sound Video, you get Rhythmbox and VLC, both absolutely fine choices, and that will enable you to consume media out of the box. Under System Tools, you get all the standard Mate stuff, including the Mate File Manager, which looks very nice with the Ghost BSD icon theme. I've got to say, this really is a unique looking distribution, because it uses the Vimix theme, and these icons I don't think I've seen another distribution use, so it really does look nice, and it has its own identity. On the system, you get the preferences, which is all the standard Mate preferences, as you would imagine. So let's go ahead and just quickly mess with some themes and see what we can make. So personally, I do prefer this dark theme, and it is here for you if you want it. Under administration, you get print settings, software station, and update station. Now this is where GhostBSD gets pretty cool. See, usually with FreeBSD, you would have to do all of this through the terminal. But in GhostBSD, there is actually a GUI software manager. So I don't know how much of this I can show you because the networking isn't working, but I will try anyway. So it'll ask for your password, and as you can see, we have our software manager here. Now, it can't reach the software repository as the networking isn't working, but as you can see, this is a decent enough package manager. Now, it's nothing fancy like GNOME software or anything like that, but you certainly can search up the program that you want and install it through a GUI. So I would say this isn't for absolute you know, new basic users, but if you know a little bit about Linux and you're not ready for BSD package management just yet, or if you just prefer a graphical user interface, well, this could be handy for you. There's also a graphical updater too, which you can click on this and you can update your system very easily. But if this isn't your sort of thing, you can indeed just use the standard methods of FreeBSD package management, which is what I tend to do when I use GhostBSD. So all in all, I've got to say GhostBSD is a really, really nice distribution. 
FreeBSD can be a little bit difficult to get to grips with if you're new to it. In fact, even as a Linux user, I struggled a little bit. So if you're looking for a way to dip your toes into the BSD world, but you're not ready to fully install FreeBSD yet, definitely give GhostBSD a look because it really is a fantastic distribution. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people who are new to Unix operating systems altogether because I think you will struggle then. But if you do have some experience with Unix-like operating systems, definitely do give this a look. And before we finish off today's video, let's do the distribution reviewers tradition of taking a look at the default wallpapers. You know, it's kind of part of the job. And I've got to say, these are some really nice wallpapers. They're not GhostBSD branded or anything, but they are all very good choices that go very well with the GhostBSD desktop. So with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.